If you want to calculate the surface area of a prism, first you need to ask yourself, well, what is a prism? A prism is a three-dimensional polyhedron, or if we're going to use the plural, we're going to say polyhedra, which means more than one polyhedron, with parallel congruent bases. So if we look at this diagram, I've labeled the top and the bottom as my bases, and the sides as my lateral faces. These sides will make up what we call the lateral area. So if you want to calculate the surface area of this, basically you could think of it as how much paint would I need to cover all the sides of this shape? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my head, break this apart into its parts. So we're going to have a hexagon as its base, and we're going to have two of them. So I guess I could calculate the area of this hexagon and then multiply it times two. And then I'm going to have to ask myself, well, what do these lateral faces look like? and it's pretty clear that they look like rectangles. Now, if you have a regular hexagon as your base, then you can assume that you're going to have six congruent rectangles. However, if these are labeled as different lengths, then you're going to have to calculate each one of these regular, excuse me, each one of these rectangles on their own. So the key to solving any problem that asks you for surface area is to write your pieces separately calculate their areas, and then add them up.